What shall we do? I had a talk with uh, Nancy and she convinced me that you can forget the first book and just start with the second. She was so persuasive that I want to tell you, rip it out of your book unless you find something worthwhile in the first chapter. That's what she said. The whole first is of no real consequence. That wasn't what the email with Barbara sent out said. Really? Quotation mark. Really? No, it said it was very important when we need to like master it. Oh, okay. okay. Not have a single idea that we hadn't considered. No, I think we need to keep it in. What do you find worthwhile in the first? Um... The crisis, the split between Agamemnon and Achilles, the, uh, the act of injustice of Agamemnon. Okay. Could you just point out what line that is? Uh, <clears throat> okay. Look. Yes. He's right. 173. Okay. So rip out all the, all the pages that came before it. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I was just giving one example. Let me make sure. Are you asking me for my whole treatise on this? No, no, no. <laughs> Barbara, is that fair? It is. See? I can't just stab at it with a fork? No. Are you using Fitzgerald to play choir? Pardon me? Is this Fitzgerald? I have two of them. Ah, Fitzgerald and Lattimore. Lattimore? Mm -hmm. I think I have a... I forgot to bring my Lattimore. Raps. Lattimore? Oh, I just have one. That's Fitzgerald, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't bring that one. We wouldn't know what the other 23 books are about. We didn't have this. Oh, come on, you're good. What about the first paragraph? Yeah. About the first word? Did you bring one? No, 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 no. Yeah. Mean it, mean it, the wrath. Sing it. No, 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 that's the second word. Sing it. Sure. Sing it. What's the first word? Do you have a reference? I love her. The wrath. You know, really? You know who's? Oh, you know who's? Oh, you know who's? Oh, you know who's? Wrath saved are the first two Greek words. I said, you know, there was a lot of thoughts to respond to in case you forgot. That sounds good. Wrath. That's what he said. That's his story, my story. Isn't that weird? Can you say that? Let me do it again. Yeah, please. Help us. Mm, yeah. Liquor. Why don't we just knock off them just the first page <laughs> and pick it up later? <laughs> like, look up. I just want to, is there some starting point we can start with to make an analysis of Homer? Yeah. Yeah, the first six lines. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was waiting for someone else. Yeah. He's already here. <laughs> Barbara? Oh, I don't. I, I'm my, my head is still. I saw you waving your hand, me. and that I no, knew no, immediately that meant you were in a deep insight. No. I was just. I, I was. I had mental chatter, that's it. Well, that's a good beginning. Why don't we start with the first six lines? Go ahead. Since that. Oh, go ahead. What do you find worthwhile? Well, that uh, <clears throat> the wrath of Achilles is baneful and brings countless woes upon his people, the Achaeans. Uh, destructive wrath and um, making them spoil for dogs, all manner of birds, and that the will of Zeus is brought to fulfillment in that is okay. then quite would, significant. Would you agree, at least we can cut off the first two words as insignificant. No. <laughs> right. So that means the goddess is giving the poem. Then the whole thing is what? Um, divine speech. 
The whole thing is a divine speech. Divine inspiration. Divine. Oh. How could that divine inspiration? No. Leaves it out. A divine what? story. You're adding inspiration to it, I think. Why? Oh, I, that's my question. Why? <laughs> He's yeah. saying divine inspiration. At, he went from, moved from divine speech or divine song, hmm. Ingmar did, to divine inspiration. And so I said, I, I had a knee jerk reaction. No, you're adding inspiration. And he said, Why? I said, That's what I don't know. Okay. It's because it's what it is. So then, how would you characterize it? Divine song. <laughs> the whole thing, therefore, is. The divine song. Divine song. Oh. Sung by a goddess. I don't know. If that is to be sung. Right. From the yeah, divine. The whole thing is to be sung. Ah, so uh, yeah, all right. That's interesting. Wait, where did you get a song from? That's in the. That's the second word of the speech. Depending on the translation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, in the Greek, it's the second word. It's a story. Come on. The command. See, that's interesting. He's commanding the goddess, yeah, too. Right? Which goddess? Whichever. It's a muse, though. Mm -hmm. uh, well, apparently it is a muse. Thea. Who's Thea? Thea, yeah, goddess. Okay. So, what are they going to sing about? Wrath. Anger and Ooh. wrath. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The whole thing is about what? Wrath. Anger, wrath, right? Hey, the whole word, anger. And as a consequence, great devastation. Yeah. Well, what's it going to show? <laughs> it's all by Zeus. It's all the will of Zeus. That the fulfillment of the will of Zeus. Oh. Yes. Apparently there's two oh, two there. Right. Another edition that has um Ephete Musa. Ephete Musa. Ephete meaning speak. Speak. Oh uh, yes. One of the manuscripts. Espete, sorry, Espete. And that's Ephete. different than singing or breathing, right? And sing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak, speak to me. What does that mean? Espete. What does it mean? Will you read it? According to this word. This one guy has got a terrible anger, and this becomes the vehicle for the fulfillment of the will of Zeus. Mm -hmm. How weird. But there's also the anger in the in the heavens. In the um, the anger of Apollo, right in that. There's part two, so there's. Hmm. Yeah, who's that? Is a story about it? Mm -hmm. right. First, it says that the quarrel begins with the two men, and then it says, among the gods who brought this quarrel on. Yeah. So there's the anger of, of Apollo as well. <coughs> this is a. Uh, so what is it going to be then? The whole story is going to be then understanding the root of that anger, mm -hmm. how it began. Well, how that's the fulfillment of the will of Zeus. No, yeah. and it began between two men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two men. Huh? Two and how did it start? What triggered this anger? Mm -hmm. A quarrel. Ah, ah. Oh. The next paragraph. Hubris. Uh oh. The whole same story. It was the priest, right? The war between Christ and uh, Achilles. Hey, hey. Look here. First Who started it? The priest? Agamemnon. Agamemnon. No. Apollo. Zeus. Well, Christ is Apollo. No, yeah. the God. Okay, Apollo started. Right, the God started it. What God then made it? Why is that? So We're going to look at that the that fulfillment of the will of Zeus through an anger that was caused by these two guys, yet the anger itself was started by a God. 
Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Apollo. Yeah. Not right? Mm -hmm. If so, then Zeus is using not only men, but God. The God. Oh. We don't count. We don't count that crisis was offended by Agamemnon as a cause. The priest, we don't like. You're starting with, and there's definitely the anger of Apollo mm -hmm. that definitely brought out, uh, brought about the reflection that led to the uncovery of the uh, the cause of yeah. Apollo's anger and its remediation. But my question is, don't we count the Chris? That, that Agamemnon ignored the request of, of Chrysus, the priest of Apollo, mm -hmm. even though he came in full priestly garb and carrying the ribbons, yada yada, of we, Apollo. We do count. But we didn't have. But and we wouldn't have just, the cause. Yeah, sure. But Apollo didn't have to be angry, even if he did that. But he ended up being angry. But nevertheless, there's still a cycling, right? Like, what's his name? Uh, Agamemnon didn't just uh, ignore Chrysus. He treated him outrageously. Uh, just what, come on. But Pick, continue where Barbara was going for a moment. Come on. Need more? That's what I was, I, I yeah. thought I was just contributing to that as well. Yeah. Well, I was just but, questioning where the cause uh, began. It's Pardon me? Triple it was two different, you know, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. independent of the refinement, independent of the refinement that we get in the public. But you named it as sexual. Well, so does, what, my mind yeah, easily was, goes there when it's a woman, yeah. He does say, uh, she shall live to old age in our house, far away from Argos, working the loom and lying in my bed. Yeah, like wife. I mean, that is sexual. Is but that's not hey, working the loom is not all that sexual. That's <laughs> not <laughs> no, 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 You're leaving out the lying in the bed. Yeah, lying in my bed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, which one is the I got one here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a maker there, then you got a lion. Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of a mind does Achilles have right here in the beginning? Does he understand what's going on? Mm -hmm. Just not into the causes. Is he able to trace it to Apollo? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Hey. He sees all of his men being shot down, as yeah. it were, from the shafts of Apollo. And yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he says, hey, you know what? Someone, someone bugged Apollo. Yeah. Hey, is that good, Sam? Yeah. 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 He sees the justice of the situation. <laughs> but that comes from here. He put a name on him and said, it's Apollo. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Someone is upsetting Apollo. See? Mm -hmm. But that's now the, let's find out if we can find out what bugs Apollo. Mm -hmm. What does he suggest? Come on, the whole part of book two depends upon you finding the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. He suggests to ask some seer or priest. <clears throat> the most excellent diviner of dreams. That's right. What is he? The most excellent diviner of dreams. We'll have to find someone who's good at dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that there? Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a diviner of my text. Mm -hmm. What text is it? Well, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. 16. 16. Did someone have a dream? No, no. Said the 70. 70. Couches. No. 69, 70. Yeah. Take oh, a look. Okay. Just a general, general oracle. Yeah, right. I think it's 62, 63. Agamemnon. Now I take it. The siege is broken. We're going to sail. And even so, many, many may not leave death behind. If war spares anyone, disease will take him. We might, though, ask some priest or some diviner, even some fellow good at dreams. <laughs> for dreams come down from Zeus. Mm -hmm. Why all this anger of the god Apollo? Curious. Right. Say, watch the dreams, right? Get some diviner, right? Diviner might tell us, priest might tell us, watch dreams, they come from Zeus. But, but it's not dreams he wants interpreted. 
but it is not dreams that he wants interpreted. I don't know anything about that. Well, I know it. So far, no, but he, he, he wants what's going on with Paul and the Achaeans no. to be interpreted, right? No, no. He added a very important line. That's why I hesitated. Hmm. What was that? Let us tell us what is made to follow us. Okay. Okay. Also, on that, on that, um, on the crisis, what what his attraction to crisis thing is, at line one fourteen, it says, "I would not accept the glorious ransom for the maid, the daughter of crisis, seeing I'm minded far rather keep her in my house. I prefer her before Clytemnestra, my yes. wedded wife, yes. since she is no way inferior to her, either in form, in stature, in mind, mm -hmm. or any wise in handiwork." Yeah. So it doesn't. It isn't just. It's not it. merely sexual. Absolutely not. Yeah. You're right. I agree completely. Yeah. <laughs> he wants a new wife. Yeah. And oh, just, presumably she's like a good person too. Like he doesn't like his wife, as we find out. Right. In like the Odyssey. Oh yeah. I remember on itself. Right. He married, yeah. like he married a girl. Right. So she's done all this. Plus she's like you know into this whole God thing. You know, like the upgrade. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi, look here. Uh, have any of you guys ever met any women? <laughs> how yes. How are you, Ryan? I'm going to see how I'm going to see how I'm going to see how I want to see why this guy is so upset about giving back this girl. Mm. Mm. How does he see her as a wife? Now I'll read my text. It's my better translation than you guys. I'm at about 120, 125, somewhere like that. This is Agamemnon speaking, probably talking to the seer. <laughs> you visionary of hell. Never have I had fair play in your forecasts. Calamity is all you care about or see. No happy port sense. And you bring to pass nothing agreeable. Here you stand again before the army, giving it out as an oracle. The archer made them suffer because of me. Because I wouldn't take the gifts and let the girl Chryseus go. I'd have her mine at home. Right? At home, he's going to take her home. Yes, if you like. I rate her higher than Clionestria, my own wife. She loses nothing by comparison in four things. What are they? Stature, mind. Hey, what, what kind of a bra? And deeds. Good, yeah. good looking, smart. She's got a wheat. Right, she's got it all. Right? Look here. <laughs> See? One, two, three, four. Outward appearance, intelligence, words. In the same way, I want to know how Achilles looks at his girl. Mm. Hey. I want to see how women are looked upon in Homer and who gets them and why and what they're willing to fight for them, over them. If I have to give her up, 
I'll tell you what, you guys have to give a prize for me right now. Well, every man of you looks on, my girl goes elsewhere. All right? And I want to be paid off in spades. So that he alone of the Argives will not be without a prize. That's good reasoning. I'll tell you, I'm going to take someone. And you know what? You know who it may be from? Kill you. I guess he is. He, he threatens his death. I am. You, Achilles, the man I visit may choke with rage. Well, let him. <laughs> right? Let him, man. I want him to get upset. I want my equal. Because she was quite a prize. And I want it right now. <laughs> Cough up. Right now, I'm going to take her. Achilles is ready now to pull the sword out and cut him in half. Hey, what role does her again play? One, two. She sends it. She sends it down to keep him cool. Hold it, and I'll give you your reward three times more than you can imagine. Right. Hey, hold back. I'll make sure you get paid three times for what you think you've suffered. Ooh, three times. Oh, 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 oh. Good <laughs> oh, three times, he says. You're cooking with the right man. Now, uh, 
But we should have, this was once decided years ago, but we never really went ahead and got it done. Um, Hi, Mark. Why don't you give back Achilles' answer to him then? Pardon? You read Achilles' answer, his speech, what to Agamemnon. She's making a request. I'm making a request to have you read Achilles' response. Well, leave it all. You may be able to take my girl, but I'll tell you one thing. You come down and take anything more, and you and I are going to have it to the end, right? You may be able to take my girl. Okay, but I got this three times a deal coming down the trail of the turnpike. <laughs> so if you come down to my ships and take one thing off, we got it. One snail. <laughs> For the girl, I will not wrangle in arms with you or anyone. 
though I am robbed of what was given me, but as for my other things that I have alongside my black ship, you shall not take it against my will. Go try it. Here it is, everyone. That instance your hot blood blackens my spear. Well, you have to give me all of the qualities of righteousness. Okay. All everything you see, you've got to collect together. You joker your lies on the bits and heart like a thumb. She's beautiful. Right. So now the deed is done, and he calls on his mother. Right? Thetis, his mother, goddess. And says, come on, my dear, you're my mother. Revenge. So how does she persuade Zeus? Ah, ah, ah. Alright. What can influence, that's the question. What can influence Zeus? Who does he owe? What does he owe? What was the deal so important that he made that saved his existence? Right? I mean, what was the deal? How did she do it, his mother? How did, what kind of a deal, or what did she do for Zeus that Zeus had to pay him, had to pay her back? We have the numbers. Go. <laughs> right, Thetis. She uh, saved him from a coup, right? Yeah, I'll read it. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, 396. Full author, number, page number, uh, line number. 396. Okay, everyone there. I don't know if it's the same. Full often have I heard thee glorying in the halls of my father, and declaring that thou alone among the immortals didst ward off shameful ruin from the son of Kronos, lord of the dark clouds, on the day when the other Olympians were fain to put him in bonds, even Hera and Poseidon and Pallas Athena. But thou camest, goddess, and didst loose him from his bonds. When thou hast with speed called to high Olympus, him of the hundred hands, whom the gods call Briarius, but all men I guide on. For he is mightier than his father. He sat him down by the side of the son of Kronos, exulting in his glory. And the blessed gods were seized with fear of him, and bound not Zeus. This do thou now bring to his remembrance, and sit thee by his side, and clasp at his knees, and hope that he may haply be minded to succor the Trojans, and for those others, etc., etc. That's it, right? Okay, what does uh, Achilles want? <clears throat> Remind him of these things. Cling to his knees. Tell him your good pleasure. If he will take the Trojan side and roll back the Achaeans back to the water's edge, one. Back to the ships would slaughter, two. All the troops then may savor what their king has won for them, three. And he may know his madness, four. And what he lost when he dishonored me, five. Right? That's what he wants. One, two, three, four, five.
What's your good advice? Okay, kid, I'll do it. <laughs> be quiet now beside these long ships and keep your anger bright. Quit the army, but keep your anger bright. Right? Nice girl to have around. <laughs> right? <laughs> keep your anger, keep it going. Right? Pull back. Let the troops suffer. Right? He's angry as he might. Yeah, I don't think Plato She play. is a good cookie. <laughs> right? Okay. Alright. <laughs> now look here. He went and got a higher authority. Mm. What's that mean? Zeus has his. Thieves, his mother. Mm. Yeah, she, Zeus has friends in low places. And <laughs> 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 she's got. She's away. But, but on the other hand, it's like it's the fulfillment of his will that's being done too, though, right? Well, sure. I find it interesting is that she's down the depth of the sea, right? And, how oh, yes. and, and then also has just, just like that's ethic cool. that's very questionable, <laughs> right? And then she even has a lower, uh, even more interesting connection, this hundred-handed monster, right? That she's able to summon to help Zeus out in this situation. So he's got this, this friend down the sea, and she's even got this gnarlier creature. Monster, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Who, is he the son of Zeus, this Briarius? When she persuades so, Zeus, does she add a sixth term to his five? Mm. <coughs> oh, Father Zeus, if ever amid Immortals, by word or deed I serve you, grant my wish, and see to my son's honor. Right. Doom for him of all men came on quickest. Now Lord Marshal Agamemnon has been high-handed with him, has com commanded and holds his prize of war, but you can make him pay for this profound mind of Olympus. Lend the Trojans power until the Achaeans recompose my, recompense my son and he new honor upon him. She adds a sixth and he new honor upon him when she finished gather of clouds said never a word, but sat unmoving for a long time, silent. Thetis clung to his knees, then spoke again. Give your infallible word, bow your head, or else reject me. Lord Zeus, here's trouble. You drive me with a war with Hera. Now, get you must get a picture of Hera from Zeus's viewpoint here. Okay, it's essential. All right. How does Zeus look upon Hera? Got it? Hey, it's essential. Go ahead. Well, I was just wondering, going back. Not, not about how Zeus looks at Hera, but what were you saying uh, Thetis adds to what number of things? And what and what is it that she the adds? The new power, she, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Honor. Yeah. New honor. It's because, at uh, 510 or about. But, but, uh, but to what list of things? Lend, right? the, lend the Trojans power until the Achaeans re recompense my son and he knew honor upon him. Achilles hadn't asked for her to ask for that. He had asked for revenge, basically. Yeah, where? Earlier, that passage we just read, 
or revenge. You may happily be minded to succor the Trojans. He went right now I'm on the no delusion that he would not respect the best man alone. Okay. He complains of dis being dishonored, though. Okay. Can you fill me in on this? Okay. How is she described, and what kind of a mind does she have? Two questions. Hera? Yes, Hera. She's a bit frightening. More. Come on, whole bunch. Power. Uh, More. She taunts him. She takes him down in front of the gods. More. Right. Him. If she came into the jar, jarway, what would you see? Come on, what kind of... Anger. 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 More. Uh, confrontation. Confrontational. Scolding. She's a... She, 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 just a little she's bit of an ag. What's what'd you say? Just a little bit of an ag. Yeah, she's forever. Yeah. No, she's like the worst kind of woman you'd want to have as a partner. Look, you have to have this in your mind. Hey, you have to have this in your mind. <laughs> or you'll never understand book two. Yeah. But, she wants but it doesn't. It doesn't say she's wrong. No, <laughs> never says she's wrong. <laughs> she calls him out. I mean, As a matter of fact, say. is she right? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Did he make a deal on the side? Yes. Mm -hmm. she was Does she good. know he yeah. made a deal? Yeah. She, well, she, 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 she doesn't know what kind of a deal, but she knows some secret maneuver <laughs> has <laughs> taken place. Is that right? And what, what it's going to lead yes. to. She's right. got plenty of mind. Yeah, 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 she yeah. figures out okay. that they're together. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Then that's the way she functions. Tell me the way in which Zeus describes her. She's a what? <laughs> <laughs> she's a taunter. Well, she thinks, doesn't she think that he's always on the wrong side? Yeah, more. Right. Mm -hmm. She is always at me. He says, he says you will only make me dislike you more. It says I the Trojans win. This depiction is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Hey, picture this, okay? At uh, around 5.50. Here is the trouble. You drive me into open war with Hera. Yeah. Sooner or later, she'll be at me. Scolding all day long. Even as matters stand, she never rests from badgering me before the gods. I take the Trojan side in battle, so she says. Right? Got a picture? Got a picture? Mm -hmm. She's a partisan in his depiction, right, Pierre? <clears throat> Political partisan. How does Zeus handle her? Do not expect to know everything I say. Lord Hera feared him and sat quite still and bent her will to his. Up through the hall of Zeus, now all the lords of heaven were sullen and looked askance. Hephaestus' master, Artifice, broke the silence, doing a kindness to the snowy-armed lady, his mother, Hera. What a miserable day of you two, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
Has this author packed a great deal in a couple of pages? Yeah. I read the first chapter all the time, so I Right? Some of this would come later. Artful. And brought alive, did he bring alive characters? Do you see Hera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see Zeus? Mm -hmm. Hephaestus? Yeah. Thetis? Push it, look here. Are you saying what's going on at the end of chapter one is two conflicts, one among men and one among the gods, mm -hmm. yes. and there are two wars going on? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's all to fulfill the will of Zeus. Are there are two wars, two struggles, and they're taking sides forced to by the logic of their past. Hmm. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, so one among men, one among gods, and an alliance between the two sides too, right? And then they take sides, yeah. right? Like, like Thetis and, and yeah. Achilles. Yeah. Yeah. So then we have that curious right? Here, two great men, and in the background, Hector. Uh, and then in the, in the world of the gods, we have Zeus taking sides with Thetis. And the other guys take sides. So therefore, there's a struggle and disagreement among them. There's a warfare disagreement here. While there is a battle going on. Huh. And he's in charge. Right? Because all of this is going to be this whole thing is a little zoo. Yeah. Well, that's rather curious. For what? Yeah. For what? Okay, just thought I'd ask. Jeez, I wish I would have asked you first. Yeah. <laughs> It's the so what question, right? For what? Yeah, so what, for what? So what then is the will of Zeus? What's the end? Where is he going with it? Say, what is the role of women so far in this war? The, the, the reason whether the feminine, whether it's on earth or in the heavens? Why the war is being fought. They're both being fought over. Hmm. Both heaven and heaven. Hmm. To bring about conflict. Yeah. And to adopt uh, roles in the negotiation of that conflict. Mm. Busy bodies. Right. Well, they're all beautiful and accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Embodying virtues. Yeah, they're all over there. 
I got a, a curious question at uh, about uh, 600, maybe 590. He made her smile. He made her smile. And the goddess, white-armed Hera, smiling, took the wine cup from his hand. Then, dipping from the wine bowl, round he went from left to right, serving the other gods nectar of sweet delight. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Is it interesting in the symposium, the rule they adopt in the symposium mm -hmm. is that the speeches move from left to right yeah, 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 yeah. and they end in the last paragraph still drinking from left to right mm -hmm. in the end? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. so what does that mean? So the next time we have a party, when we pass around the beer, how much did it move? Left to right. And left left to, to right. right. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever else you're passing. In honor of the God. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> to the left hand. Yeah. From the left hand. I'd just like to, if we can do just one more thing. Can we just do the first paragraph of book two? Sure, go ahead. Yes, I don't want for that. Okay, take a look and tell me what you see. Oh, I thought you were going to read it. You want to read it? Yes, go right ahead. Okay, With read. enthusiasm. Oh, please, yes, all right, thank you. Now, uh, you said, lot of now all the other gods and men, lords of chariots, slumbered the whole night through. But Zeus was not holden of sweet sleep, for he was pondering in his heart how he might do honor to Achilles and lay many low beside the ships of the Achaeans. And this plan seemed to his mind the best, to send to Agamemnon, son of Atreus, a baneful dream. So he spake and addressed him with winged words. Up go, thou baneful dream, unto the swift ships of the Achaeans, and when thou art come to the hut of Agamemnon, son of Atreus, tell him all my word truly, even as I charge thee. Bid him arm the long-haired Achaeans with all speed, since now he may take the broad-wayed city of the Trojans. For the immortals that have homes upon Olympus are no longer divided in council, since Hera hath bent the minds of all by her supplication, and over the Trojans hang woes. Okay. okay. How much, how does he picture Zeus? Creating or crafting the dream. How? He calls on it. He's awake, first of all. He tells the dream what to tell. Now slept the gods, and those who fought at Troy, horse handlers, charioteers, the long night through, but slumber had no power over Zeus, who pondered in the night how to exalt Achilles, how in his absence to destroy Achaean, Achaeans in the windrows at the ships. He thought it best to send to Agamemnon that same night a fatal dream. Right? How much care is he putting? Right? Got a picture of him? What is he doing? The whole night through, right? Pondering in his heart. So you have to see how crafty the dream is. Or it's a way he just he could have just dashed it off. <laughs> so he's the dream maker. He's the dream maker. Mm -hmm. 
He's the master of dreams. Right? Agree from what we read before? Therefore, the dream master is now pondering the whole night through to craft a dream that will achieve these two goals. Ah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> right, he's got himself an interesting problem, huh? How at the same time to exalt Achilles, right? Wait a He's a coward. Who? Achilles is a stinker. What? Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Well, <laughs> in connection. Is he going to sit out the war and watch all his comrades die? Yeah. Yes. Is he pulling his key troops, the Myrmidons, out of combat? Yes. Mm -hmm. For years and watching the slaughter happen in front of him? What kind of a pig is he? Where's the honor in that? He's nuts. He's mad. But he's mad. He's mad. See, the real story of Patton in World War II was not well known. But the whole reason he was removed from combat. It's because he wouldn't. He decided that he had a girlfriend and he wasn't getting her up. <laughs> and Eisenhower had his eye on her. Yeah, that was the real reason. Yeah. I said Patton wouldn't give her up. Eisenhower stole her one night. Just went in a bunch of tanks and troops took her. So Patton said, "The hell with you," and didn't enter combat. They make up that story. Don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're really all about. So while the troops were dying in the middle of combat and needed Patton, and especially his forward units, they were, they were, they were just drinking beer and watching everybody get killed off. What would you call him? A hero? A traitor. What would you call him? I use supreme graphic terminology sometimes. So I don't know. Well, would you praise him? <laughs> <laughs> no. A, a coward? I don't know about a coward. Well, he's afraid of combat. That's the way it looks to me. Afraid of combat? I'd call well, sure, afraid. he's a jerk. He's not in combat. He's a miserable <laughs> swine. He's a jerk. While he's letting troops die and roll around him, he's sitting back having beer. But it's... All over a girl. I mean, a girl. What the hell is it? They're yeah. all over the place. They're all over the place. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Stupid. It's she needs a psychologist. <laughs> what, did, what did you say? What about a psychologist? <laughs> Am I kidding me, kid? <laughs> what did you say? They call me Pierre the Serious for nothing. I mean, no, no. I mean, it's for nothing they call me Serious. No, no. <laughs> what would you say? Put it in modern clothes. What would you say? Well, that the men are right. It's, he's spiteful. He's, he's vengeful. He's During the invasion at Normandy, he played no role because he refused to go in. Pat. Until he got, yeah, that's the truth. Okay. Until he got what? Until he got his girl back. What? <laughs> The guy doesn't understand the story. No, I don't know the history. Patton wanted to get a girl. It's an analogy. He played no role in the invasion of Europe until he got his girl back. Then they let him go. What do you I think, think of Patton? I think, I think you're fibbing. Huh? I think you're fibbing. Well, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You're point. saying. You're saying. Well, you, you're casting what happened in modern dress. It's right. not that Patton actually acted that way. Thank you. Okay. You want to, what do you want to do? I mean, falsify history to make it sound better? No. Yeah, okay, so he slapped a soldier and the, they got mad. The troop, you know, people at home got mad because he slapped a soldier in a hospital because he, the guy uh, 
They tried to go into combat and uh, they pulled lie. them off. You believe that stuff? That's a lot of baloney. No, I'm sorry. The real story is what I told you. How do you know the people? And you'd be locked up. Who told you? Come on. Yeah. If that's the case, how would you judge him? He's a criminal. Hey, low. Petty. 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 No, it's criminal. Every. Anti-social behavior. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. An anti. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. PSR and NDQPK. <laughs> That's a psychological diagnosis. Or you can just say he's an asshole. GSM yeah, 6, 7, and 8. Dishonorable discharge. Technically, I think it's modern terms. Louder? Yeah. Dishonorable discharge. 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 Hey, look, it gets worse than that. I don't even want to tell you the rest of the details. Just say the rest of the details. Please. But he planned, he planned, see, after getting his girl back, that all of the loot that Eisenhower had stolen, right, that he was going to, you know, put in a safety deposit vault on one of those Canary Islands. Is that what they call them? Canary Islands? Yeah. Eagle Islands or Canary Islands. Cayman. Cayman Islands. No, 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 no. Switzerland. Hey, what Patton did is he made believe he was going to go into combat. He sent his twin brother with his holsters and looked just like him <laughs> in the tank. Hey, man. And instead, he took all his troops and decided to go back to the Riviera and feast it up. With all the loot and his girl, he had it made. The trouble was, <clears throat> his brother was a jerk. He looked just like him, twin. And he got killed. And that really busted him up. He saw how stupid he was. Couldn't figure out why he was so stupid. Yeah. What do you think of him? He's an anti-hero. <laughs> That's Homer. The best of the Greeks yeah. is not so hot. Well, he's, better. he's got to take the worst person possible and make him into a hero. That's what Zeus is doing. Come on. The first paragraph, book two. What is he pondering? How to exalt. Here, let me read it, okay? <laughs> now slept the gods, and those who fought at Troy, horse handlers, charioteers, the long night through, but slumber had no power over Zeus, who pondered in the night how to exalt Achilles, the only man with a desperate power, furious in his absence, nuts in his vision, hostile in his, in his very bones, neurotic in the scope of his reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Did not read between the lines? A little bit. Yes, it is. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What's he going to do? He's pondering the night through how to exalt Achilles. How to honor him. And how in his absence to destroy the Achaeans. He's going to find a way to exalt this crumb bum. And he's going to kill a bunch of people to do it. Yeah. Including his best buddy. Would you agree? It, it looks absolutely impossible. <laughs> <laughs> A no-win scenario. I don't know. Put it in modern. Put it in terms you know. He looks incurably like. A, and he's going to do that. Wait a He's going to do that in a dream, right? Or by means of. Right. That dream has to have two goals, right? How to design it so it will exalt Achilles, right? and bring about the disaster of the Achaeans so that he can get his revenge. How do those two things get to stay together? The Achaeans are his colleagues. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Yeah. It's not the Trojans. It's a big problem. How do those two stay together? Agree? Yeah. Weird? That's why the dream is important, see? 
you have to see that that's possible through that dream. Now, let me just ask you one question. <clears throat> have you ever been at work and you have an idea? And you've got to put it down on words. That right? You have to craft it into words and images, right? <coughs> to do, hey, to do justice to this. By the way, is there always a gap? say, not me. Every time I had a noble idea, I was able to put it all in words, and there was nothing short in what I said that didn't correspond exactly to the idea I had in my mind. That would be a high degree of certainty. <laughs> hmm. You mean, you mean, therefore, if this is true, is that equally true in dreams? Come on. Yeah. When you have a dream, Right? And then you're going to try to put that into words. Is there some level of distortion that takes place? Yeah, yeah. By the way, is it equally true that when you reflect on your dream, you can add a level of distortion too and get some things right and ignore other things? Is that possible? Yeah. So then the levels of distortion that plays a role. All right. Now, if Zeus is the father of dreams, as it were, he knows this. And you have to see that it's in the text. Mm. And you also have to see that it's visible. Right, but that means, all right, this is Agamemnon. Right. So he will then understand it this way. Right? One, two, right? three. And the people around him will see it in another way. Agree? Well, you gotta see that. And you gotta see that it's gonna achieve those two goals. Because after it's over, after chapter two is over, Agamemnon knows something now. Now, key to this whole thing is that, Agam that Zeus in the dream is going to put a role in there through this transformation of the dream, all right? Her. And you already have done your homework on Hera, have you not? Good, then you won't have any trouble in book two. <laughs> Alright. Thank, Thank you guys.
Hey, is it worth going through the sky? Beautiful. Fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Strange. strange. Friday night strangeness. <laughs> <laughs> we've never done any. Fun. I don't think we've ever done any poetry on Friday nights in Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for the introduction of Mark Eddy's poem. We did that with him last year.